Hey, good morning everybody. Tuesday morning. I'm just heading out to work right now. Starting my day. Have everything unloaded and get going here. Nice and cool out so far, so. Carrying my mask around with me. A lot of the places are still asking that you wear your mask inside stores and things like that. And of course, you know, my allergies are still kicking up over something, but anyways, uh, a little bit of a tragedy in the town where I live in or where I work in. Yesterday, uh, we had a, a construction crane collapse on a project that's going up downtown. Uh, we weren't involved in the project at all. But the uh, construction community is a pretty uh, tight-knit community. So if you don't know somebody that's uh, directly involved, good chance you know somebody who knows somebody that was involved. So news starts to travel pretty fast. I first heard about it, I was in my office, it happened about quarter to 11, so I was in my office and my son text, sent me a text. He was actually working on another building a block or two away. He happened to be up on the roof. And what it was, the guys were uh, starting to disassemble the crane to take it down. The, uh, the building was pretty well ready to go, so the structure part anyway, so they were taking down the overhead crane. So he was up on the roof there and he was doing what he was doing, but uh, he was kind of watching that at the same time and uh, saw the whole thing uh, come down. So what they were doing, like I said, they were trying to dismantle it and take it down. So something catastrophic happened. Um, I have no idea what it was. And the honest truth is nobody knows at this point. There'll be a very thorough investigation and what happened will, uh, will come out at some point. But it's not going to change the reality of the people that were involved and the families of those people. So right now the uh, the authorities aren't really uh, giving out too many specifics right now. Uh, it would, sounds like there may have been four guys killed. We're not sure. We'll probably find that out later today for sure. But right now all they're saying is there was uh, multiple fatalities. And anecdotally we've heard there's probably four guys killed. So... Again, that'll all come out today. But just to me, just goes to show that you've got to get up every day and discount your blessings because you just never know what's going to happen. You know, I was sitting in my office uh, grumbling about things and uh, working on my second cup of coffee when uh, when this happened. So, say so you just got to get up every day, count your blessings, and. Uh, make the best of things. So at this point all we can do is uh, pray for the people that were involved and their families and uh, we just hope for the best. Anyways, it's Tuesday morning. I will talk to you later. Bye for now. Just stopped by the site on my way home here. They've got that other mobile crane in there and they're going to start taking down the uh, tower that you see right in front of you. So they actually had a press conference this morning. It was actually uh, five people ended up dying in the collapse. There was a person in the building just to the right of the tower that uh, part of the crane fell on. So a person that was working inside that building ended up getting killed. So they're gonna take that first uh, section of tower down, actually down to the second brace, I believe. Is it still pretty unstable? And then they're going to go in the building and try and recover the person's body inside there. So it's uh, even more tragic than originally thought. And what's really sad too is there was two brothers working on dismantling the crane. Uh, they were both killed as well. So I just thought I'd come by. It's kind of on my way home from work, so I just wanted to come by and uh, kind of have a quick look, um, respectively, out of the way. 
It's a pretty sad uh, situation. It's a small town here, so kind of hit the community hard. So I'm just heading back now. It's a little glimpse of the town I work in. It's Kelowna, BC. So all in all, it's a pretty sad day here in the community and uh, everybody in the construction industry is feeling this. So I'll talk to you later.